Hello viewers, you're welcome back to Value Guide. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 effective psychological tricks to attract a woman. Yes, that's right, how to get a woman as a man. So sit tight and enjoy the video. Women, like they say, come from Venus and males from Mars. This is at least what we've been informed of. That title refers to a book that I believe helped to perpetuate the myth that men and women are biologically opposite and have little chance of ever really understanding one another. What the author failed to see is how distinctively varied each man are. Men are not all the same, therefore saying men are all cannot be used to start a discussion without making one sound foolish. Women experience the same thing, not every woman is the same. The fact that each person is unique is what makes them so lovely. Everyone has their loves, dislikes, aspirations, and dreams. I am aware that it seems hopeless. How on earth can you learn to communicate with every single woman? Since they are all unique people with varied preferences and ideologies. Be at ease. It's a secret that we're going to tell you. It is the key to engaging anybody regardless of who they are and fostering an interest that would eventually lead to love. 1. Look beyond the outward appearance to the true self. We are perfect individuals underneath the skin and bones. We're plagued with bad baggages and things from our past. But we are aware that these things do not represent who we are. Nobody likes being reminded of their negative traits or difficult history. We're most proud of who we are at our core. The flawless person below is what we're most proud of. Find the ideal individual to speak with while speaking to a lady, a guy, or even a kid. It is easier to discern this ideal person in some individuals than in others. And in others, it is nearly non-existent since it is so obscured by odd pseudo-personas and other bizarre baggage. Move on if the person you're speaking to makes it too difficult for you to reach the ideal person underlying. Find a partner who carries less baggage, and whatever you do, avoid wasting time by conversing with phonies. They're just not worth it. 2. Spend time establishing a foundation of knowledge. Develop this talent. Visit a store or another setting where you will need to converse with others. Find quality in the checkout clerk that you enjoy when you arrive. Women in my experience like jewelry and go to great lengths to choose and wear nice looking items. If you see a piece of jewelry on them and compliment them on it, they will glance up and respond to you rather than some anonymous faceless individual. They will instantly begin to think somewhat more favorably of you. 3. Allow the individual to speak for herself. The simple part is this. You don't need to be smart or spectacular. All you need to do is listen carefully and speak intelligently on the topic at hand. It's extremely simple to do. For instance, the discussion may have begun after you made a kind remark about a piece of jewelry or a sweater or scarf. Usually they will provide you with a brief description of the work. Oh, that was a birthday gift from my mother. You will then green and say something you knew she will agree with, such as what a wonderful mother you have. With all your effort, find the urge to introduce yourself. This discussion is entirely focused on her. You will notice that you become friends quickly if you continue doing this every time you walk through the checkout line. Following that, extending a coffee invitation is the ideal way to continue getting to know one another. 4. Stare clear of topics that you disagree with. Taking a different stance from theirs and attempting to persuade them that they are wrong is the fastest way to make someone loathe your gods. Let's pretend the cute checkout clerk accepted your invitation for a coffee. Yay! It's a major step. Don't botch it right now by attempting to show her what a fool weak and misguided she is by comparing yourself to her and how brilliant, large and powerful you are. This will be your last date if you do this and you will alone be responsible for it. Instead, look for points of agreement. Avoid politics like the five day old taco stub you just dug up from under the couch if you disagree with it since your critical remarks will just be welcome. You'll be alright if you stick to the points on which you're completely in agreement with. 5. Respect her private space Your kind cashier is a lady. She has had her fair share of attempts by males to cuddle up and get close. Give her room to show her respect. Her boundaries are violated when someone tries to get too close to her, when she isn't ready for it. She could interpret this as saying that if you push boundaries now, 
Who knows what boundaries you'll push when you lets you into her world? 6. Take care of your hygiene. Comb your hair and brush your teeth. Do not at all stink. Although I shouldn't have to mention that sometimes individuals are unaware of how awful they are. And sure that you don't. Just smoke a cigarette and drink coffee, then chew some gum or whatever. Make sure nothing is lodged in your teeth by checking them. Don't seem unkept unless it's sexy unkept. Pay close attention to your clothing choices. Do not dress in shabby, outdated attire. If you don't respect yourself, no one else will either. And how you look speaks volumes about how much regard you have for yourself. If you feel a bit overweight, too short, or have another particular trait that annoys you, don't stress about it. The majority of people seldom ever notice these things. They're not worth it even if they do and decide against speaking to you as a result. Pass on. There are many lovely women out there that are seeking someone kind and considerate like you. 7. How about presents? The majority of individuals like receiving presents, but sometimes they're unwanted. Imagine that this evening you are having supper with your lovely secretary. You may gift her flowers, but you shouldn't also offer her a new automobile and chocolate in a heart-shaped box. She doesn't want to feel obligated and receiving too many things makes her feel as if she must now provide something for you. Although it sounds wonderful, this is unpleasant to feel. Have you ever arrived at work and realized it was a potluck day, but you didn't bring anything? How are you feeling? Did you walk around claiming to have forgotten it was potluck day while simply eating chips? Did you leave quietly in the rear because the commitment was simply too much for you? You get what I mean, right? Wash and detail your automobile if you want to make an impression. Make reservations at a place you know she will like and ask her what kinds of movies or food she enjoys. Spend some time planning a romantic evening for her. She'll be impressed by the consideration and respect you showed her by taking so much time. 8. Choose carefully. Remember, not all women are appealing only because they're female or attractive. A positive antagonistic or passive aggressive lady, also known as a confrontly hostile person, can ruin your life and the lives of any children you may have. A gorgeous snake may still kill you. So be cautious before you commit. Give our hearty so long goodbye and don't let a screen door strike you in the ass on the way out if you discover that your prosthetic girlfriend is one of these people. A nice caring lady with humor and a sparkle in her eyes would be far more appealing than a gorgeous sociopath. When beauty is simply surface level, it might lose its appeal over time. When you see the ideal person below, real beauty is revealed and lasts forever. The only person who will be there for you when you truly need her is someone with integrity, compassion and devotion. Life is a hard game. If the others are selfish or insane, they will have left by the time you most need a buddy. 9. Detect her lack of interest and move on. Let's face it, even though you're lovely, stunning and intelligent, you may not be everyone's cup of tea or future partner material. It occurs. Okay, if it is obvious that she doesn't desire a relationship, both of you and she are correct. Maybe we can become buddies. There are never enough good individuals in one's life. 10. Use a confident demeanor to attract ladies. Confidence is the one compelling quality you must possess if you want to draw ladies out of all the beautiful qualities. And the majority of women can instantly determine if you're confident by observing your body language, including your facial expressions. Women will see you as lacking confidence, for instance, if you fidget or act little around them. Therefore, Adapting confident body language is the first step in attracting women. Ensure that your body motions are calm and in control. Increase your size. Establish eye contact. Don't be scared to occupy space and stake your claim in the vicinity. If you find that challenging because you're anxious or uneasy, take a few calm deep breaths and concentrate on how you feel in your body. Can you feel your feet? This will aid in your relaxation and help you project confidence through your body language. You have it now. The crucial advice on how to communicate with anybody. There you go, young Jedi fighter. Now go out and utilize your power for good. I hope you'll give me a piece of the wedding cake, or at very least, an invitation to your wedding. There it is, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you haven't done that already. And also, like and share the video to family and friends. You never know who might need it. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.